Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Drew Wild. Today we are talking about DoorDash customer caught off guard by confirmation photo. So as one of the requirements of gig workers is to actually take a photo to confirm a contactless delivery, sometimes customers like to jump the gun and sometimes they end up in embarrassing situations, which is always fun to talk about. So with that said, I want to go over everything Thing that is being discussed in this article, how it actually is for DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub drivers, customers, and everything in between. So with that said, let's get started. A DoorDash customer was left bemused after finding their photo confirmation featured them in their own doorway picking up the food. Yeah, some people are really picky about not being caught in the photo. If you ever had to take a photo while delivering to an office or something, you would be surprised how many people kind of just fan away from the gaze of the camera. It's hilarious. The convenience of DoorDash makes it a popular choice for many, and typically people have no issues receiving the items they order through the app. Although there's been some immoral activity by Dashers in the past, delivery usually goes smoothly. This is in large part thanks to the company's procedure that ensures Dashers send a photo confirming each delivery. I'm just saying this is the first time where people were acknowledging that we're pretty freaking good at our jobs in a mass media post. So thank you to Dextero for being clear about that. Most of the time, these photos are nothing special to look at, but one customer was taken aback when the photo confirmation of her order delivery featured none other than herself. Well, you don't want to end up in a picture going into a database where you know nothing about the database or who else is actually looking at it? Come on, that's what social media is. <laughs> The photo was posted to Reddit and showed the OP standing in her doorway and looking down eagerly at her order. The thread quickly garnered reactions from users with fellow customers and other dashers both chiming in with their own perspective. I'm always hiding, watching for them to leave so this doesn't happen, a fellow DoorDash customer confessed. Is that why you won't come outside or you make it seem like you're waiting for us to leave because you you don't want to be seen taking food for yourself. Like, come on. My favorite part of the pic is your face of, oh yeah, this is going to be good. Read one comment. Homer going for a donut energy. Another agreed. Mm, donuts. <laughs> Is that what you guys are afraid of letting other people see? That you actually get hungry and you actually have favorite meals? Like, come on, that is not that big a deal. I mean, sure, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Is this what, Dairy Queen or something? Either way, if I'm excited to eat a meal or if I'm excited to do anything, I'm gonna show it. I'm not ashamed of that. I don't know why anybody else should be. As it turns out, this isn't the first time a customer has been caught in a unlucky confirmation photo. Dashers were quick to point out there's only so much they can do when they snap an unlucky photo, one dasher said. I mean, you can't really retake it. We don't keep the pics, so... Some people do, some people don't. I personally don't keep all of my confirmation photos, but I do make sure a confirmation photo is attached to every contactless delivery. I know there's gonna be super meticulous dashers in the comments section that are like, I take a photo for the app, I I take a photo for myself, I take a photo of the address, I take a photo of the house and the color. I make a note in my little black book. I wanna know everything in case these fuckers end up giving me a contract violation. Which, if you're that meticulous, good for you. I take the photo, make sure it's all covered in the app, and I'm gone. Another dasher had offered a more thorough explanation and some advice for those who don't want to get snapped while grabbing their midnight snack. Customers, sometimes we have trouble uploading the photo and we gotta come back to take a manual shot for when we're in better reception. Please wait for the delivery completed message. That's actually really smart. If you're in a dead zone specifically, this is actually really good advice. Some customers live in these dead zones and we have to make sure we have the photo so we can go to another location, mark the order as delivered in that location, go through support in that way. And it, it's it's just a series of nightmares. But it is important that we do that. This is my opinion. It's 
Support what you pay for it. None of you pay me. There you go. I know that there's a lot of food anxiety going around right now. And I know that a lot of it is solved through DoorDash and seeing yourself go for food like this can be a little detrimental for your mental health for a lack of a better way to put it. But know that we aren't judging you for being excited to eat your meal. In fact, that's kind of the goal here. I would probably judge you more if your food came and you just had this disappointed look on your face. You know what I'm saying? Like you ordered the meal and then you suddenly weren't excited to eat your meal. Like <laughs> why, why is that a problem? Then again, it's none of our business at the end of the day, but we're not thinking much about this. Now, could people in the comment section getting all uppity go something along the lines of, She's just clout chasing. She outed herself. I don't feel bad for her. Look, I don't think she feels bad either. I think she thinks this is funny at this point, And quite frankly, I think it's funny. Either way, I'm glad that a customer actually got their meal and enjoyed it. I'm glad that I read an article where a customer got their meal and they enjoyed it. And the article itself acknowledged that most deliveries go off without a hitch. I hate reading all of these articles shitting on gig workers and there's no acknowledgement of, oh, there are other orders out there that go off just fine. This one acknowledged that immediately. All in all, I would take that last dasher's advice though. Wait for the confirmation notification if you're concerned about being caught in the photo. If you're not, whatever. Most people aren't even gonna think twice about the photo you're in. They're just more concerned about making sure their ass is covered. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.